it's time now to start talking about exterior angles, yeah? And so far we've spoken about interior angles and the sum of the interior angles of every polygon, yeah? So check my site explainingmavs.com and make sure you've seen those videos as well, okay? Um, exterior angles, which are, yeah, exterior, the angles on the outside, right? Ex exit, exterior, yeah? It's on the outside rather than interior, yeah? These are the interior angles, but the exterior angles are the angles on the outside. But I don't see angles on the outside. Now, what do you have to do? You just have to extend the line, yeah? And then, if this is the interior angle, then this in red, let me take a red uh, marker for that, this would be the exterior angle, okay? And if black is the interior angle again, if I extend the line, let's do it a little bit longer, then red will be the exterior angle, yeah? And same here, you just have to extend the line to find or to see the exterior angle. Okay, and so that is an exterior angle, but what is the sum of the exterior angles? And that is something we're going to discover now, uh, and I have three examples here. I, I, I sketched a triangle, a quadrilateral, and a pentagon, and I wrote down the interior angles, uh, the size of the interior angles. And so if I extend each line, yeah, so over there, doesn't matter on which side you extend it, yeah, try it out, you will notice that it doesn't matter, yeah, because some of you say, yeah, you're going down now, but if what if you go horizontal, it doesn't matter, okay? So just extend the line, okay. We're looking at straight lines, so if this angle, the interior angle is 30 degrees, that means that this exterior angle is 180 minus 30, so that's 150 degrees, okay? If the interior angle is 95, so the exterior angle is 180 minus 95, which is 85, and 55 for an interior angle that makes the exterior angle, what is that, 125 degrees. Okay, so what is the sum of the exterior angle for this triangle? That will be 150 plus 125 plus 85. Yeah, do you agree with that? 150 plus 125 plus 85, and those are all degrees. I should put degrees there. Okay, how much does that equal to? 275 to 80, that equals, hey, that's nice, 360 degrees. You see that? That equals to 360 degrees. Okay, moving on to the quadrilateral, yeah? Again, I'm going to extend those lines. I'm gonna do it a little bit quicker now, uh, but it's important really that you, that you do this yourself as well. Oh, hang on a minute, look at that. All the ink is everywhere, I apologize. Okay. Um, straight line, 110 degrees on the inside, on the outside, exterior, that makes it 70. 80 as an interior angle, the exterior angle is 100 degrees. We see that, eh? 180 minus 80, so 100 degrees. If I have a right angle, uh, angle on the inside, then my outside angle, my exterior angle, is also a right angle, eh? so 90 degrees. Interior angle of 80 degrees, exterior angle of 100 degrees. Now again, the sum of the exterior angles for the quadrilateral are gonna be 100 plus 70, plus 100 plus 90 degrees. Degrees, 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 yeah? Don't write down degrees Celsius, by the way. There's always one student who does that. Yeah, that's temperature, right? Degrees Celsius. Talking about degrees, okay. Um, what is the sum? 200, 270, also 360 degrees. Same as a triangle, do you see that? So the interior angles of a triangle are 180. The exterior angles are 360. For a quadrilateral, the interior are 360, but also the exterior are, or add up to 360 degrees. Now let's look at the pentagon. Yeah, so I'm not gonna use my ruler again, because otherwise this video is gonna take like, like an hour or so. I'm just going to sketch the exterior angles, or those lines anyway, yeah? Right angle, so this one is 90. Right angle, that one is 90 degrees. 120 on the inside, 60 on the outside, 80 on the inside, 100 exterior, 160 on the inside, interior, 20 on the outside. What is the sum of the exterior angles for the pentagon? 90, 180, 280, 300, 360. And I'm telling you guys, if you do this for a hexagon, if you do this for a heptagon, if you do this for an octagon, a nonagon, a decagon, for any polygon, the sum of the exterior angles add up to or equal to 360 degrees, okay? So the sum of the interior angles, you can find using the formula n minus two times 180 degrees, eh, as, as I showed you in my previous videos, but the sum of the exterior angles always for every, for any polygon, add up to or equals to 
360 degrees. Okay. My next video, I'm going to show you a typical question where you're going to need this knowledge or this understanding of angles to solve that question. Okay, so make sure you check it out and make sure you to check out my site as well, explainingmaths.com, for all my resources, yeah, which you can use for free. You can ask me questions there if you want. You can find me also on Facebook, you can find me on Twitter, uh, and like and share this video if it was useful. I appreciate it. See you later.